This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. In order to assemble and install the Marley NC cooling tower, your team will need some basic tools and equipment. For smooth, efficient installation processes, follow these steps. First, let's go over the tools required to complete your installation. You'll need a hoist with a 2,500 pound capacity for hoisting motors on towers with field installed motors or towers that include a motor outside airstream option, a one half inch electric drill and bit, a torque wrench with 150 foot-pound capacity, a socket wrench set. Marley NC cooling towers typically use 13 millimeter, 19 millimeter, and 30 millimeter. Have more than one set handy if possible. Combination wrenches, again, 13 to 30 millimeter. Adjustable wrenches are not recommended. Pipe wrenches, impact wrenches used to tighten all hardware, basic screwdrivers, Phillips and flathead, Allen wrenches, Caulking guns required for application of sealant. Small and large drift pins. These are essential for aligning tower modules and other components. More than one set is recommended. A protractor level for setting or checking fan blade pitch. A dial indicator kit. This is Marley item number 115311M and is needed if you are aligning a drive shaft on a motor outside airstream option tower scaffolding or portable stairs for elevated areas, acetone solvent and clean cotton rags, one gallon is recommended, and PPE as required by your safety officer, including gloves, hard hat, appropriate harnesses, and steel-toed boots. When using joint sealant, follow the instructions in your installation manual carefully. Failure to follow sealant instructions will cause joint leaks. Do not apply either caulk tube sealant or strip sealant if the outside temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. When using Z11 caulk tube sealant, follow these steps. All flanges must be straight. Rework any kinks or bends. Clean all surfaces to be sealed with acetone. Clean larger areas of stainless steel at one time because oil will recontaminate surfaces quickly. Clean carefully. Oil migrates through punched holes and around sheared edges. When using Z12 or Z13 strip type sealant, be aware of the following. Strip sealer is supplied in one half inch and one inch widths. One inch wide sealer should always be used unless otherwise noted. Apply continuous pieces of strip sealer to the unjoined parts. Do not splice sealant strip except when turning a corner. Cut with a utility knife and do not stretch or tear the strip type sealant. Gaps at joints and corners should be filled by applying a piece of strip sealer to the proper thickness, then working it into the joint to create even coverage. Follow the sealant instructions in the installation manual very carefully to prevent joint leaks. Several types of fasteners are used in the Marley NC cooling tower. Stainless steel fasteners. Stainless steel fasteners are prone to galling when this occurs, you notice a sudden increase in the force needed to turn a nut before parts are clamped. To avoid galling, apply anti-seize compound to the threads of the bolt before installing the nut. If a nut does not easily spin on a bolt, do not force it. Extra hardware is included if needed. Tap screws. When using tap screws in sheet metal parts, they may strip, not allowing the screw to be fully tightened. If this occurs, place a 3 8 inch nut on the back side of the tap screw and tighten. Torque requirements. Standard fastener torque values for galvanized and stainless steel fasteners are shown in the installation manual. These values may vary in actual practice. Note that the values shown for stainless steel fasteners are based on fasteners being lubricated with anti-seize compound. Loctite. Critical structural and mechanical attachments require extra protection against loosening during cooling tower operation. This is accomplished on galvanized fasteners by applying Loctite thread locking compound to the exposed threads of a bolt after the nut has been installed and tightened. 
Bolts should be installed with the threaded end up or horizontally. Reference details are provided in your installation manual. On stainless steel fasteners, the use of anti-seize compound renders Loctite ineffective. In these critical areas with stainless steel fasteners, self-locking nuts are provided and Loctite is not used. Fastener Substitution the find numbers in your installation manual refer to flange head bolts and nuts. If your tower is not supplied with these, or you need replacement hardware for your tower, refer to this chart in your installation manual for non-flanged hardware that may be substituted. For more details on your delivery and installation quick start, watch the next video in this series, Assembly Hoisting. We'll discuss preparations on the ground prior to hoisting your Marley NC cooling tower and special considerations for motor outside airstream installation. Thanks for watching.